I must say, I possess a rather impressive ability to put a game down for a few days, and then when I come back, I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. Anyway, hello all the crazy people out there. My name is Dragonite. Welcome back to Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition Features Connected. And today... I don't know what I'm going to be doing today. Uh, last time, I think I was uh, I think I was doing a bunch of the, like, Nopon, Pond, Spectre side quests and that kind of thing. Um, I think when I left off, I might have just been exploring. And I, uh, I did catch something caught my eye when I swung the camera around just now, and that is this little hole in the wall over here. So I think I'm just gonna, gonna run down here real quick, see what I can find, and then... Uh, since, uh, if I, if I recall, it was somewhat of an exaggeration that I have no idea what I was doing last time when I, when I picked up. But down there, I think there was a locked gate, and I wasn't able to progress any farther down the, uh, like the, this part of the Bionis shoulder. Uh, so, um gonna have to turn around for now and let me just uh let me just see what i find through here that is a leg cool old king's testament the landmarks are a lot closer together i feel in this expansion than they were in the base game anyway leg tokelis that's the that's the best i can do when it comes to pronunciation there uh level 70 cyclonic yunga all right so let's uh Let's fight monsters that, that are just minding their own business. And I'm just gonna do a bit of a warm-up by by putting up all of my elementals. I tried to kick you over and it didn't seem to really work out. Um I uh, I guess like birds seem to seem to have a thing for sometimes you can't really knock them out of the air or anything like that. I should probably also go after you. Um, unfortunately, because having you around when I fight Big Bad is probably gonna be a little bit of a uh, a little bit of a problem. I take it you're a unique monster. That's a name that sounds like a unique monster. And also, uh... Um, what was I thinking? Uh, it's got, it's got sort of a fancy nameplate, anyway. Alright, you know what? That didn't go well at all, and I'm in a bit of a hurry today, so I'm gonna try to, try to move on. Um, the rain is falling like... Okay, the rain is actually being blocked by the, by the ceiling. I, th I thought the rain for a moment was, uh appearing to be falling through the ceiling, but it just it just goes away when you're in here. Anyway. Let's see. I am in a bit of a hurry today, unfortunately, so I don't have all the time in the world to try and to try and fight that thing. It seems to be big on debuffs, but I'll have to um, perhaps worry about that some other day. Instead, let me go to Alchemoth and let me go and do the thing in Alchemoth that I was supposed to do. What was I supposed to do in Alchemoth? Like, fix the rift in the fabric of space-time or whatever. I think it was something like that. Um, let's see, if I, uh, if I open up this and look at the quest log, I'm going to deactivate this for now. What is this one? Can I see that on the map? Hang on. That is on the map. My curiosity is getting the better of me. Hang on. Hmm. I can drop down here without hurting myself, right? If I take it, if I take it slowly. Yeah. So it seems that there's just a bunch of enemies with fur in the name. Green Ferris. Okay. I guess that works. So let's, uh... Get into a fight with the Green Ferris. This should be over fairly quickly. Uh, since you're only level 67, I'm level 62. Especially if I kick you over. Bonk. And then maybe just discharge all my elementals all at once. And then I, uh, I imagine I will be able to just return to the Nopon and that will be, that will be the quest. Right? Alright. 4,000 experience. Not the most at this point in the game, but it's not nothing either. Um... Lucky Fang. So, who do I have to return to now? Alright, you are the one who is just actually sitting up here overlooking the field full of green Ferris. Okay. I wonder... Anything... Anything else that you're gonna have me do, or are you going to join my party now? There's also, I'm remembering now, there's also the Nopon quest log. That I think is in the menu somewhere that I haven't looked at yet. Fife had watched spectacular takedown of Green Ferris. Pfeiffer was standing right here, but with friends and spirit. Also gained tremendous insight into ecology of Ferris. Scientific break breakthrough, too, is sure to be on horizon. 
But as promised, Pipe will return to duties now. Alright, that is indeed that that is indeed it for that quest. I get 40,000 experience, which is approximately um, about nine of those green ferrets in terms of experience. Uh, it seems that some kind of member went missing, and Pipe have strong sneaking sp suspicion of culprit identity. Pipe found Chief not far from scene of crime looking with extreme extreme shifty eye. Awfully suspicious of friend asked Pipe. It not matter that Chief is Chief Criminals must serve must get serving of comeuppance. We'll get to the bottom of this, Fifa. swear. Alright, well, you do that, Fifa. Uh, that is blue team, so I have a couple yellows, a couple blues. I still don't seem to have a red team not on. Alright. Where can one find other pond inspectors? Fifa make precisely one educated guess. Friends should try looking there. Alright. So, if I look on the area map... There's going to be a yellow, not far from where I was, actually. Uh, oh, I see a vendor icon down here, so there is another, at least an encampment of some sort down there. Um, I'm looking for other other icons. I I don't see any others. I'm hoping for a red because then I'll have red, green, and blue, and red, green, red, yellow, and blue. I'm sorry. I've been doing like. Game Maker color theory videos recently, and that's been all that's on my brain. Uh, let me, uh, let me snap back over to the old King's Testament. And perhaps not fight the Birdos? I have a feeling that this knock on over here is going to have me fight the Birdo, though. Actually, can I get to you now? Are you, like, up there? Can I get up there? Hang on. Um, is there a way that I could climb this cliff and, and get up there? Because that seems to be where... Where the pun specter is hanging out. Um, what if I, uh, if I run up like this thing over here? That is a Grom Nebula. Alright, this is a nice looking electric crystal. So I'll, uh, take a Daze Up 2, a Daze Resist 3, and a... There must have been another one that I didn't see. Okay. Um, don't see a way that I can get up there. If I, uh... Go to area map. Is there, like, a staircase or something in the back? There is. Okay. So, the way that I would get up... Get up to the, uh, to the top of that would be by actually climbing up this and I think that's the first time in this entire game that I've actually had to use the jump button. Uh, let's uh... Boy, the third person camera is not entirely sure what to do with the walls over here, but I can I can come over here to Agni's Sky Garden Ruins. Uh, that's a uh, that's an adequate descriptor of, of what I'm finding here. And let's uh, let's talk to this pawn specter. Set set. Qualified. Certified. Never not ain't not pumpified. Pond inspector set set is name surveying New Lands' game. You see ropey bridge that connect to a normal stone pillar over there, boss? Set set have irresponsible urge to stand on Terrace of Bridge and give voice to own determination and pumpedness. But they're already Rogal on Terrace and they showing set set lots of aggro. Why have beef with set set? Rogal need to chill out. Set set is just live on own truth. Sometimes not on bro just gotta shout. I'm just, I'm loving reading these guys' dialogue. Set Set make earnest requests. Please do as Set Set ask. If Set Set not can shout determination from Terrace, life is over. Alright. So defeat Bodacious Rolghouls on the Terrace of Whispering Crossing. Uh, that is not going to be the big old Birdo that I, uh, that kicked my butt down there, which is probably good because I can probably do this like now. If I were to, uh, if I were to bring up the quest, the quest log, ready, Set Set, go. This is going to be, um... Whisper, Whisper and Crossing. Where exactly is that? First, let me just run around up here a bit. And... Pick up some of these, uh, these Blade Birds. Which only sounds like an attack from Pokemon. Is this a landmark of some sort? No, but there is a, a, a treasure chest or something. What's this? 
All right, martial artistry, which is a, a unique piece of equipment, and aggro up four, which are both things that I don't think I would be finding just lying around any old place. Um, the, uh, the unique piece of equipment on aggro up four. Uh, see, there's nothing around this corner, right? Much to my disappointment. And is there, is there anything over here? I don't think this is a, like a big, um, a big location. I think, yeah, this, this is all this little plateau. All right. So first, before I forget, um, what was the, uh, what was the, the headpiece that I just picked up? Alright, so everyone can wear that. That comes with ability points up just automatically. I might give that to Shulk, because Shulk ha probably has the most use for ability points, because his Monado arts are the most expensive. Uh, that will reduce his physical attack slightly, increases ether defense by a decent amount, and it's... It'll, uh... Um... What was the other thing? It's lighter than the thing that he had before. Alright, um, recovery up. This is just like... HP restored when you're healing by 18%. Okay, I will replace that for the, the agility up that I had before. Um, I would rather have agility up than... Um, just recovery up. And hopefully, like, I don't need to spam recovery on anyone. And, uh, agility is like... Auto attack speed, isn't it? I think agility is auto attack speed. And it's something that I'd like to have more of. Alright, so that's that. Now I can check the map, and... The Whisperwind Crossing, it would seem, is the, uh... The thing, the thing hovering in the sky, like, right... Right in front of the, um... The entrance, the entrance to Alkamoth. So, uh, I'll just run across this bridge. Kick some, kick some butt of whatever happens to be there. And, uh, hand in that quest and I'll pick up yellow, another yellow knock on. Alright! Moro Cobb. When am I gonna get to fill in the rest of the Collectipedia, by the way? Congenial Gears. I know I've, I'm pretty sure, at least. And it's not like I'm an expert in the, in the items that you can find in every location in Xenoblade Chronicles, but I'm pretty sure that I've found the, the uh, Congenial gears or congenial cogs or whatever it was. I don't know about the corn cob thing that I uh, that I picked up a minute ago. So you guys have gotta gotta have a bit of a word with bodacious Rogul, right? All right, we're gonna make quick work of you, I hope. All right, Shulk is gonna use his Monado arts. I'm gonna start discharging my elementals. Hopefully, that is going to make quick work of these Rogul's over here, and I'm going to. As, uh, as day breaks, or at least as the rain clouds part, or whatever that was. I don't know if it was if it was day or night or raining or whatever. But we can we can defeat those Rogals. Okay, now, you are actually not that far away from us as the crow flies, but uh, walking walking that distance would be a, a bit of a bit of a hike. Because it's very indirect, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna fast travel. Right, right. Oh, you know what? That wasn't the closest, was it? Grandel Ramparts. Yeah, this is a this is a locked gate, and I can I can sort of like was I able to push the camera through the wall there? Hmm. Uh, I can sort of like see what's what's beyond there. Actually, can I do first person Xenoblade? This is not the best first person camera I've ever seen in a video game, but can I uh, can I do first person Xenoblade and? See what's behind there? Not really. Okay. So we're gonna run back up to where that blue knot on was hanging out. And as we make our way up here... Alright, set, set. Your name I remember because of the dumb pun and the quest name. That was tight, boss! So much strong! Set, set, move to manly, salty tears. Now set, set can go to Terrace in peace. Bear with set, set. One minute. Shouting out of blood, sweat, and tears of det determination concluded success. You're the boss, boss. I hope was of, I hope I was of some help. Yeah, well. All right. Since I feel connected to you, to you by unbreakable thread of destiny, boss. Gonna hang out with the crowd until we find Chief Win Win. Okay, okay. All right. So we've got a surfer bro knop on over here, and you are going to give us some more quest rewardy experience. During journey to Bionis, your shoulder chief, Woon Woon took Set Set aside and said, Set Set Chief, have great trust in you. 
Set Set not so easily trusting as that, so not quite believe Chief 100%. That way Set Set gotta see for Set Set self why Chief Moon Moon get, to, uh, get up to. Anyway, Set Set counting on you, boss. I feel like the, like, the subtext here, and oh, are you a red one? Other Pond Spectre? Sure thing, boss. Set Set got red hat tip for you. I should check this place, no kidding. I've learned the whereabouts of further Pond Spectres, okay. I feel like the subtext here is that, like, and here, finally we learn how to do Union Strikes, that uh, Chief Moon Moon is not to be trusted, because a couple of the a couple of the pun specters that I found have said things about, like, what what is the Chief doing? Where, what's he mysteriously disappeared off to do? And so, that sort of thing. So, I feel like there's going to be a bit of a strange twist at the end when we put the team together and uh, uh, find out what the Chief is up to. So, anyway, by befriending pun specters of, of all three teams, you have unlocked the ability to perform special coordinated attacks to the Union Strike, Doing so requires spending three bars of the party gauge, but it deals damage to enemies in a wide area and has extra effects. Alright, that's fun. Not unlike a, uh, not unlike a chain attack. There are three variations to choose from with extra effects. Uh, red comma deals major damage to one enemy. Nice. Blue caress, heal and grant regen, and debuff immunity to allies. Also nice. Yellow chaos, force days and strength down on enemies in the area. Also nice. Um... The more pun specters are able to befriend, the, to, be, to befriend, the more powerful their union strike will become. Um, I take it that finding finding Pokemon of type Yellow will increase the Yellow, like, days effect power. Finding Pokemon of type Blue will affect the restorative power and that sort of thing. Um, when you use a union strike with while all three allies are capable of acting freely, an extra chance may sometimes occur. So if nobody's incapacitated. Um, you will want to do this. An extra chance lets you perform another union strike without using the party gauge. You cannot choose the same effect. Uh, the probability of an extra chance occurring is higher the more pun specters are, on, are in a state of high tension. So that's, again, not unlike a chain attack. Um, after a union strike, the party's tension will go up, while all pun specters in a state of high tension will revert to normal. Alright, fun. Um, do I want to try that on the big birdo down there? Ah, what the heck, let's do it. So I'm going to take the shortcut down to the ground, and I survived it too, which is even better. Um, and, uh, alright, let's get you guys out of the way first. Alright, so the, uh, the friend of Birdos are down, and if I can just grab one of these before we get into a fight, I can. We're going to fight Cyclonic Yugana. Alright, so, as usual, let's buff, buff, and... And see if we can do anything. I am at two bars of the party gauge about, and I would like to... Did I just get knocked over? That sucks. I don't like it when I get knocked over. Uh, I'm going to try and try and get up to the... Like, maximal party gauge. I know that... I know that I can, like, get a little bit of it by discharging my, my elementals. That's probably not, like, the best thing to do. For the sake of, of party gauge, because now I'm gonna have to be, to be revived because my my defenses were down, and, and that's kind of a, not not great. But we're gonna uh, we're gonna see if we can get here. All right. Um. So even though uh, even though kicking you over doesn't seem to really doesn't seem to really do much, let's uh, try to get there again. I have three water elementals. That's uh. What, about a couple hundred points of regen every second or so? It's not bad. Alright, here we go. We are ready to do a Pond Spectre attack. Area attack plus major damage to one enemy. I'd like that. I only have one red Pond Spectre, so I don't know if that's going to be like the best course of action. Um, area attack plus heal plus debuff immunity sounds good. Again, I did mention... Was that in time? I wasn't ready for the quick time event. Alright, I didn't get the third one. I know I didn't get the third one. I guess I got the first one. Um, <laughs> love that animation. As I as I mentioned earlier, I do think the uh, this thing does seem to be debuffing me a lot. And I, I like not being debuffed. So let me uh, let me buff my own defenses a bit. That's going to be one, one physical defense on top of whatever else I have. And I think I should be able to win this one. Cyclonic Yugana. You, uh, your days are numbered, and by numbered, I mean the number is zero. Alright, fun. I could, I could see that being a fun replacement for chain attacks. I like chain attacks, but I could also see 
can also see the uh, the Nathan Union moves being fun. So that is a Tokilos King Egg, whatever that means. A Seed Spitter and a Comet Rod. I'm pretty sure I've actually got both of those things already, but... Alright. Now I can grab the Wind Ethers. That is Topla Resist. Like that. Would have liked that during that battle. And an Agility. Yep. Okay. Um, I said I was going to go do, do main story stuff, and then like I just got distracted by other Nathan, so maybe I won't be doing main story stuff. Where is the next one that opened up on the map for me to rescue and bail out of trouble, whatever whatever you were doing. I I don't see another flag. Could you possibly be in um an Alchemoth? I don't think you would be an Alchemoth. Huh. All right, well, let's go there. Anyway, I'm just going to run around, run around Dr. Moth a little bit, and then I'm going to end the video because I have been... Okay, so I, I can find I can find Nop on an Alchemon, so it's possible that there's going to be someone in here. Um, I'm going to run around this a little bit and possibly uh, find some of those bird people feathers that he's going on about. And then I'm just going to end the video. Uh, I don't want this to go on for too much longer. I intended to do story stuff in here today, and then I got distracted by Nop on. So, whatever. Um, oh, that's nice. Uh, there's even sunlight shining on the grass in the shape of, like, this is, this is casting proper shadows. On the ground. Nice. Alright, this is uh, definitely a, a bit of a graphical upgrade from the Wii version. I feel like I should be able to interact with these, uh, these grass pods over here. Anyway! Let's see. Uh, over, over here, there is a quest item. And that is going to be one of the five high anti feathers. It looks like the... Uh, the other four are also going to be just be lying around here. Oh man, I love I love like ruined city areas, especially if it's if it's a place that I've been and I actually have a connect to, like Alchemoth. Um, in video games, I, not in real life. <laughs> Didn't realize how that sounded until uh, till after I said it. But um, this is this is like the the aesthetic of Nier Automata. Uh, combined with like the the coolness of of Alchemoth, again, which is a, a place in a video game specifically that I've been to in real in, in a video game that I have some sort of connection to. So that is the Fountain of Eternity landmark. Okay, uh, this is going to be number five if I am counting correctly, and I can return to Mister What's His Face over there. Um, you guys are just pathfinding AI is having a bit of a moment. Um, I'm sure that if I run to the other fountains in this uh, in this Alchemoth city, I'll, I'll also be able to unlock other landmarks as well. But um, that'll have to wait for next time. Let me just uh, let me just finish this quest off. And so you were by the base of the stairs, weren't you? The base of the escalator, which I'm sure is not currently operational, but uh, the base of the former escalator, I guess I could call it. Over here. I also like, as particularly like, I like the overgrown aesthetic, like the vines that are growing on the ground, and uh, again the um, like the glass that's shattered in the dome above with the with the hexagons uh, casting shadows on the um, on the grass below and making it look like it's half in shade and and all that, like the moss that's on the um, on the stone that used to be immaculate. Anyway. I'm gonna stop being worried about this. Fortismo! This finally allowed Dry Dry to make head hat and finally become best friend of bird people. I can I can get behind that goal, honestly. So that is a topple plus four. Uh, does that improve the odds of inflicting topple on something? Could I use that on a on a unique monster that's hard to topple otherwise, maybe? Anyway, Dry Dry likes all things high anti, that's why he wants to make a headdress from the feathers. It's not weird at all. 
Anyway, 30,000 30, experience points. Friends all collected land and all inspected now to be rejoining Moon Moon. Friends did sterling job with feather finding. You surely can also find Moon Moon in one GIF, two GIF tops. Jar Jar join you with a plum. Moon Moon chooses this place for pun inspecting on whim, but seems it was inspired choice after all. Maybe slogan we repeat every day is also some kind of deal. Also, same kind of deal. Moon Moon is a spectacular leader. Naturally, comes up with spectacular catchphrases. We measure, we treasure, pun inspectors till we die. That doesn't rhyme. That would be better if it rhymed. Anyway, red trim, red team dry dry. Uh, that is uh, that is two reds, two three yellows, and three blues that I have with me currently. Okay, and I am going to end this off here. So next time, Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition features connected. We shall be running up the stairs or not running up the stairs, depending on how much there is to do down here on the bottom. I uh, hope you all enjoyed that. And I will see you all later. What would be, like, a really cool place to do an end screen? I'm gonna look for something that is, again, like, half in shade. What with the, uh, the trees and the broken ceiling and, and, and that sort of thing. It's pretty good. Can I, can I, like, get a, um, a god ray coming through the leaves without Melly's butt filling the screen? Not really. Alright. Alright.